Hello everyone. This is the first of the series of how-to videos that I uh, that I will prepare for my students to teach statistics. And for this video, I will teach you on how to select the correct t-test to compare two samples. And since our class in statistics is all about t-test now, so the focus of our discussion for this video is on how to select the correct t-test to compare two different samples. As I have mentioned last time, we have two different types of uh, t-test. No? And uh, before that, t-test is used or ginagamit ang t-test if we will be comparing two different samples. And um, as you can see, we have different types of t-test as well. We have the paired t-test and we also have the unpaired t-test and for the unpaired t-test we have two different types again we have the unequal and the equal variance so the focus of our of this video now is to teach you or to give you a the technique on how to use uh, when to use unpaired t-test and when to use um, paired t-test well for unpaired t-test this unpaired t-test is used if you will be comparing independent samples and uh, if for, uh, in order for us to decide if the samples are unpaired or paired, there is a need for us to uh, check off uh, one important thing, whether the, uh, the samples that we are trying to compare are different or independent or deep in, uh, dependent from each other. And going back to unpaired t-test, unpaired t-test is used if the, uh, the two samples or the two groups of samples that we wanted to check or to test is uh, independent from each other and uh, this is how we do it we I, I have prepared here an example of when an example of how to use or when to use uh, unpaired t-test so for we have your examples we will use unpaired t-test if we will be comparing two independent samples for example of those of uh, independent samples is if you want to compare or uh, control and the experimental group so if we also want to compare sections A and section B, and uh, we can we will also use unpaired t-test in this case, because section A versus section B, section A is independent from section B. And if you want to compare male versus female as to their achievements, suppose I suppose uh, we will use a pair, unpaired samples t-test since male is a diff, uh, different entity, a complete different entity than female and so therefore we are to use unpaired t-test because unpaired t-test is used if we will be comparing or if we will be comparing two different groups tested once so duha ka grupo na sila lain lain na grupo nga imong kita sa class A for example if we will be uh, comparing section A versus section B sa mga grupo sa mga bata section A is a, a complete different entity than section B and so therefore they are actually different from each other and they are independent from each other and so therefore we need to we are allowed to we are suggested to use unpaired t-test in this case take note of this that un unpaired t-test is used if we are having two groups tested once but for the paired t-test Paired t-test is used if we will be comparing two different uh, dependent data sets. Okay, for example, it's pre-test versus post-test of the same group of people before versus after of the same group of people, then we will use paired t-test. Since we are testing one group twice, so we tested one group twice. For example, if you want to test the the, what's this the efficacy of a particular teaching intervention so we have to use we have to conduct exam before uh, the implementation of the intervention and after the implementation of the intervention then we will also again conduct the same exam so we are only testing one set of individuals one group of individuals but we tested them twice and so with that or in that case we will be using paired t test Going back to the presentation, this one, if we decided that unpaired t-tests are that the, 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 the groups that we are trying to compare are independent from each other and we know that it is unpaired, so we have to check first whether the, uh, 
the variance of the group is equal or unequal because these two will give us a different types of formula i will not be uh, discussing a formula as of this time because uh, this is just a simple video as to how to select the type of t-test that we will use so i hope that this video will is useful to each and every one of you